Like Banjo's got moves, Kazooie's got moves. Yeah. Good. Oh. oh. Hey, nice. I am shocked at how many fucking moves we're, we're already getting. Like even compared to the 3D platformer that like I played when I was when I was growing up the most. Uh, things with slippery heart. Find me and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. Oh. Oh. Well, I probably should have done that before I tried to come down here, but that's fine. Oh, fuck, I missed one over there. I'm not gonna get up to that one, so, uh... Wait, I probably can. You can't double jump from that. Okay, good to know. Can't double jump, can't double jump from the flat flip. Like, we're getting a lot of moves and we're, we're working together as a team. Like, comparing both that and just how many fucking moves- Wow, that actually stayed there. That didn't despawn. That may be the most surprising thing so far. Um, compared to the other 3D platformer that is also, um, like, a tag team duo, Jack and Daxter, because that's what I grew up with, because that was PlayStation 2, so that was the 3D platformer that I played. Um, Jack did almost all the moves and I feel like- like, how many moves I've already learned in this game is just, like, uh, uh enough notes to break open the first note door spell. Okay. I don't know where that is, but alright. A whole bunch of eggs. But we're getting so many moves! And instead of going for cars, the next game that, um, Jack and Daxter went for was guns. Talon Trouble, um, Kazooie Ta- Wait, I, I miss those words. That's how you- that sounds useful. How did she do it? Hold the right trigger, then rest the left trigger. Continue to hold the right or left trigger while moving Kazooie around with the left stick. Go practice. Oh, okay. We've this. I've been playing this game for half an hour, and we've imme and we already have a double jump and a sprint. This game fucking knows how to make it not a pain in the ass. For, for these things. Fuck yeah. I recently read, and by recently, I mean like two months ago probably, I read a thread on Twitter about just like, hey, are you making game mechanics in your game? What's the what's the mechanic that makes the game fun? Like, what is the mechanic that you can introduce, that you're going to introduce in your game, that people would go, oh my god, finally. It, what was before was going to be super annoying is now no longer annoying. Do that from the start. Like... Like, if a double jump is super vital to your game, don't make- don't unlock the double jump- Oh wow, you got like even a bigger jump with this. Don't unlock your double jump like super far into the game. Give people a double jump at the start of the game, so it's not a pain in the ass. Jinjo! We're down to one Jinjo already, god damn. Um, so the fact that we're starting this game and very, very quickly and very, very immediately I have access to- Wait, so can I do that on this? Oh, so now I can just run up and down this. Oh, that's how I'd continue outside the world. Oh, okay. So I'll need the jiggies to like open whatever the next door is gonna be. But also, I needed the talent drop to get to the next area. Okay. I'm gonna assume to just Oh oh he dropped the jiggy. Tinjo! Yay! What are we up to on that? Fine, we are absolutely crushing this world. We're, we're just storming through it, literally right now, because I'm running super fast. Yeah! Okay, I'm going to deal with you later. I'm going to go over this way. Man, so we're getting a workout. Even in movement mechanics, like, the two are getting pretty equal. Like, I'm running around with Banjo, but then I just immediately start running with Kazooie. Like, again, comparing it to Jack and Daxter in terms of how many moves. We got so many moves that they're like sharing here. Like Daxter did fuck all in the Jack and Daxter games. He had a couple things. He had his own spin-off side game. And the only thing I remember from it is there was another girl with boobs, because there's always a girl with boobs in the um Jack and Daxter games, and not at all uh like saying things from Jack 3 and realizing that there's an angry, fierce, violent, redhead woman with tattoos in that game called Ashley. Made me realize that that didn't set the course of my future in any capacity whatsoever. Um. That didn't fuck all. Oh, there was also the bug stuff. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. Fuck you, I will. I will enter Ticker's Tower all I fucking want. Fuck you. Climbing vine, not at. Well. I'm just gonna assume if there's a mechanic that I can't, like, if I think I might be able to do it. If I can't do it now, it's because I haven't learned it. That's gonna just be my assumption. 
Like, I, like, if, like, if I haven't been explicitly told something at this point that, I, that I'm to be able to do, it means I can't fucking do it yet. Like, there's no hidden mechanics. They told me how to do everything outside. And so is this what I do here? Hmm, okay. Like, this is the slope, so I figured it would be that, but this doesn't... Okay. The thing I just said, if I can't do something, I assume I can do it later. Okay. Let's go find what we're doing next. Uh, I did all that. Is this going to be a game like uh, Spyro 2, where I might have to backtrack to previous worlds with new power-ups to unlock everything? It's very possible. It's extremely possible that that's how this is going to go. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go down here. So, there's shit going on over here. Hello. It's Conga Street. Here, bear with oranges. Okay, you're throwing. Oh, yeah, I see orange pads. Hello. Chimpy hungry. One's orange now. Be Chimpy. Okay. Oh, okay. It is literally that simple. Okay. Okay. Literally that simple. Yep. Okay. I did it! <laughs> Grr! Clever bear find Conga's gold! Yeah! Free Jiggy! Yay! Can I big bust of this? No. Oh! A Conga! <laughs> Yum, oranges are nice. Okay, I now have one orange. I'm gonna feed you an orange. Yo! D that was off to the side, but alright. Ooh! Chippy like Gonga's orange. Chippy help fat bear and bird. Hey! Alright, bye, monkey. Uh, another jiggy. Man, they are just fucking giving me them for free at this point. <laughs> How many worlds does this game have? I'm curious, because I am clearing through this one very quickly. Alright. You're angry. Oh, let's go grab this. Hello. Yo, sup? Sup, bottles? Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, beetle breath. Beetles, bug things. That's the other thing I remember from Daxter. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. That's another one of the specials for Banjo in the game. Uh, Banjo is in the game. Sure, press B instead. And you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh. Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. <laughs> Bird brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh. And you can also use the left stick to aim while you're crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Whoa, okay, thank you. Whoa, Banjo! There's nothing more I can teach you on this world. All right, lights done there. Okay. Okay. I have another Ekam Bokum. Uh, I have a. Okay. What do I? What do I? Can I do this? Oh, okay. That just spawned one outside. Okay. Fuck. Okay. I didn't mean to fall like that. Okay, ready? <laughs> you slide so much when you crouch. I thought you thought you're not expecting it. Okay. Okay, well, I'll shoot you from over here then. <laughs> Ow! Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I, wanna, no, I thought I was going to land up here. Whoa! Fuck. No, wait, okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. The slide is the one slippery part about this game, which is a bit odd. Ow! Ow! Oh, I gotcha! Erg! Bear beat Conga! Make him fries to bear. I took a lot of damage there, but it's fine. I got another Jiggy. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Hey, wait. Hey, 
How many are we up to? Hey, we're absolutely crushing this one. Okay. Oh! And he's going back to throwing shit at me. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run away. I now have five um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. So now I can go to race this Mumbo. And he can do whatever he was gonna do. I don't know if he told us or if I just missed reading it. But now we can go to him and find out. We can do one of those. I, I will say, I haven't- oh, wait, 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 I can do this. BG the stones, right? Oh, what I meant. I meant. There we go, okay. Hey! Now it's working. Wait for it and yeah, Jiggy. Oh, I probably need to keep some of those there to get that, huh? Huh? Whoops. Can I make that respawn by egg? Okay, whoopsies. Whoopsies. Are you gonna do a thing for me now? I saw Rex up there. Ah! Banjo has plenty tokens! Stand on skull and press X to see mighty mumbo magic. Can I... There is shit up there. Fucking sword. How do I... I'm gonna get up there. It's just eggs, but I'm gonna... Fuck. Yeah, I did it! I did it! I worked it out! I got free eggs! I... I don't know why, but I did! Okay. Anything else you're hiding in here? No. I feel like that's deliberately not a flag, because that's the only way to get up there. Okay. Oh! You transformed me! Mumbo Jumbo! That's definitely right. Mumbo's magic changed changed you into an ant. Okay. Turn my bite small, but not but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Okay. I appreciate keeping the backpack and the um the yellow pants on there. Alright. We're a termite now! I guess that means we can go into the termite tower then. Yay! Fuck that thing then respawn. I'm gonna have to exit the wooden gun back for that, but that's fine. Go down. Yeah! Termite powers activate. Oh yeah, you're still dead, aren't you? Whee! Whee! So now can I. Ah! Termite very sticky. Even more sticky than Talon Trot. Okay. Huh! There we go. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? <laughs> I want them. <laughs> hey, I got 100 music notes. Didn't even notice. Well done. What was the music note door you were mentioning? I haven't found one in the world yet. Huh, wee! Yeah. I feel like I'm entering Wiggler's Cave. Hello. Oh. Oh. They still want to hurt me. They just want my sick threads. Got it. Got it. So they're still bullies to each other. Can I? Is there? No, that's just a song. Okay. I wasn't sure there's anything else up there. Yeah, they still want to hurt me. They just want my threads. Okay. Hey. Go hook. We got another life. Which is good because I'm about to fucking die. Hey. Yay. So that's 10. Oh yeah, yeah, we did it. So if I go so is that the music for completing everything or getting all ten? Well, I don't have everything because I don't have two honeycomb pieces. But I got a hey, hundred, hundred, ten, ten. Yay! Small world. Although there are two honeycomb pieces here, and I currently only have that one that I need to go back and get. I don't know where the other one is. So that's a thing. Also, I have 10 for this world, but I did do something in this world. I hit that switch over there that made one spawn outside. So I'll have to keep an eye out because you can do that. 
So now the question is, well, I'm gonna turn back and leave. I'm gonna come back so I can jump on top of them so I can actually get that honeycomb base there. But I also have to look around and see where the next, where the other one is in this world, because I don't know. Send me back, please. Bam! Hey, I'm... So, was Kazooie transformed too, or was Kazooie just in the backpack that was really tiny? Both of those options terrify me. And probably terrify Kazooie too. I keep thinking I can talent shot in the middle of the air, which is not a thing I can do. Whee! Yeah! It's amazing how many moves we have. Like, damn. Get a lot. I, I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, you just step on it. You just go back. Okay. On it. Can I? How do I get up there? Oh, I probably can. I could probably be a termite and come out, maybe? Oh! I opened the door so the enemies from there are out here. That's actually pretty clever. Okay. Can I be the termite and come back in? Like, go back out to there? Termite can maybe climb that wall. I can't this Kazooie, so I'm gonna save Termite can. But also, enemies respawn, so hopefully that means... This re- Yes! I didn't lock myself out of 100% in the game. That's the exact wrong button. Okay, okay. Do another one. Okay, one more and I'll be able to jump up there. Okay, now jump up here. And while we do out, that's not how spinning works, that's right. Hey! So there's one more of those somewhere in this world. And I'm really curious as to where. But okay, go back in here. Go back to Termite. Can Termite climb the thing outside? Don't punch Mombo. No need for that. That's mean. Don't do that. Boom! Yeah! Termite powers. Go! Whee! So now we run outside, see if this actually works. Because this is just a theory. A GAME THEORY! <laughs> I gotta not push my voice as far as I do while I'm currently choking on my organs in my mouth. Because then that shit happens. I totally can! Kinda. Yeah! Yay! How many in Grunty? What's the totals for Grunty's world? Grandilda's Lair! Also, 10 jiggies. Uh, no notes or other things, though. Also, is that playtime for individual worlds? Oh, yeah. 239, 2405. Huh. Interesting. And Spiral Mountain. Six out of six. I saw I did complete that place. It gives you individual playtime of each individual world. Interesting. Nice. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. But you know just how fucking fast you did each thing. Huh. Not something I've... Just not something I, I'd expect to see in a 2D... Pla uh, three, 2D 3D platformer game. How pissed would people be if Microsoft actually decided, you know what, fuck it, let's give the people what they want, let's make a Banjo-Kazooie game, and then they made a 2D platformer in the vein of, like, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Like, would people be pissed? Because I feel like people would be pissed. I mean, like, seeing the mechanics of how this works, I think you could translate a form of this into a 2D platformer and it'd be fine. But it's the type of thing where it's like, if they were gonna do it, it would have been something that would have been, like, say, on the Game Boy Advance, would have been time appropriate. Maybe DS, but they were owned by Microsoft by then. No, honestly, they may have been owned by Microsoft by the time the Game Boy Advance came in. Um, like, was in, its, was in its stride. I'm not even sure in that regard. But. Like, if they did it now, if that was the Banjo 3E that people have wanted for so long and got, because they don't count nuts and bolts, which, it's a game about cars, I can see why. I can even make the same comparison to, um, what's it called? Jack and Daxter in that regard, with Jack X being the last story, um, content that we got from that series, because, 
Last Frontier is set before Jack X. Um, so I can even make a similar comparison in that regard. Uh, but yeah, like if they made Banjo 3E now and it was a 2D platformer, I imagine people would be pissed. But again, if a, if a Banjo 2D platformer came out for the Game Boy Advance or the DS, assuming they went nice by that. How do I kill you? Can I make you? You've got horns. Can I make you ram into something? You're the only thing I haven't done anything with. And I want to say that killing you is how I get my second honeycomb face. You're the only thing I haven't dealt with here. So I want to say it's you. I'm just touching you, huh? Okay. I'm trying to do something here and this is not working. <laughs> like, I'm trying to bash you while you're on the ground, but I just can't get it to work. It would make most people assume that that's not what you're meant to do. Okay, jump from here. I feel this is too awkward that the game's trying to tell me this is not how you do it, fucking, you fucking, you, you, you idiot, you moron, you damn stupid. Hmm. Did I check the water enough? Well, I just can't see anywhere else it would be other than killing that fuck. Because it's the only thing I haven't done. <laughs> There we go. I still got hurt from that. Alright, I am going. Bye! I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I will work out how to get that later. Or maybe I'll say something that is more obvious to kill you. I'm still gonna go with killing that motherfucker is how I get the next thing. But currently, I do not say a way to kill that motherfucker, so I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking that's not the thing. Kill you. Get health back. Appreciate it. At least every time I kill something, I get some health back. And now, I can go up here. So we just done with Spiral Mountain forever? Like, I know Spiral Mountain's iconic. I was, like, when Banjo was, like, a character for I was expecting Banjo was, like, Spiral Mountain was going to be the stage. But are we just done with Spiral Mountain? Because, like, that was just a tutorial area. Also, the coloring of, um... Kazooie's legs and Bento's pants, they kind of look like they're similar there. And it weirds me out. <laughs> Bento doesn't even, like, we have a team up of two, oh, that's, that's, that's a music note. That's a music note, Well, like, we're gonna team up with two characters here, but you can run as either of them. That's something I didn't expect. Uh, this is a note door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up, them gem jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world. I already did that. How many do we need? Can you read, Benjo? Benjo can't read, confirmed. Number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from each world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Note, best note scores? That's a fucking weird way of phrasing that. Yeah, I did it! So we need notes to progress through the world, power-ups to sometimes get through these things as well. Okay. We have a flow of how to, like, advance through the game. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Um. Hello. Hi. What? Oh! Now we have, like, a proper fucking hub. <laughs> Now we're in a proper hub, it feels. I'm, although I saw a lot of pathways before and it just, we're gonna go down one. Well, let's explore while we're here. What do we got? Cauldron, hello. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Ah, so we can like walk around. Does that go into worlds or is it just a shortcut around the hub world? Oh. 
Didn't even say that there, but good to know I got it. <laughs> I was just grabbing the eggs that were here. Because I can carry 100 and I'm not maxed out. So I was just going to do that. Okay. Well, there's a cauldron there for a shortcut to a thing at some point in some stage in the future. Your butt will tell you and you'll know when my boot swings to and fro. Okay, we have... Oh, this is an upbeat. No, I saw this in the trailer. That a pad be appeared beneath them. And then Kazooie jumps really high into the air. I'm going to assume that's all that is. Because I can see this is a high platform up there. I was about to say, is this fucking music? Because today's the day the teddy bears are having a picnic song. I'm still not convinced that that's not what it is. By the way, it still it sounds like it could very easily be that. Hello! Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda. Brentilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. That's about... It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets. And I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Okay? Press X if you'd like to hear them again. Okay. Grundy brushes her rotten teeth with a moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. I'm very confused. Okay. She also washes her hair with baked beans. Yuck. Okay. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. Grungy sounds like a Facebook mum who heard a lot of homeopathic things about how to take care of your body in like completely natural ways instead of using chemicals. And it didn't go well for her. So, so is that... Okay. 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 I don't know how knowing how to say. Okay. No. That's what I was saying. To remove pieces that you have already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. I guess the idea is you might get to a point where there's multiple worlds you've unlocked. So you can choose do I want to go to this one or that one? I guess that's the idea. Treasure trove cards! Giant treasure chest. Treasure Trove Cove. Wait, where was that? I, I didn't see it. There is a door above us. I should probably go to that. Oh, this is not as much of a hubble as I thought it was. Again, I'm eliminating most of the balls pretty quickly. <laughs> and I'm just going up here again. But oh, that's okay. I, I, I meant to roll. The roll's this one. I'm already getting confused with my buttons. Alright. Maybe it's... Maybe it's a hubble. I don't... I don't know. I'll be honest, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna kick the shit out of you. That's what I know I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up here because there's. Uh. 180! You found some notes, but you need more to break my spell and pass this door. Oh, there's. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go! What's up here? Oh, fuck yeah! Already fighting secrets! What is this? Okay. I feel like whatever is happening here is... I, there's red feathers up there. I haven't even been told about those yet. You know what? This is a secret. I'll go. <laughs> I'll worry about something else for the time being. There's in there. There's down here. There's a lot down there. Okay. Let's go in here. What's it? Or is this? This probably just leads to the, to the same... No, it doesn't. It doesn't leave that same. Whoa! Got you! I'm gonna jump up here. Monsters chase you! They're a hounding! Then you'll get a grunty pounding! Oh, wait. Worry, can bark him. Everything's just leaking. More shortcut magic cauldrons. Okay. This thing, which feels like it is a thing. But is currently not a thing. Okay. 
We have another shortcut there. I'm going through very, very rapid phases of thinking that this hub world is complicated and then not complicated and then just back and forth between those two. <laughs> okay, we've got a door there. We have a door here. There's doors everywhere. Okay. This place is flooded as fuck. Hey, treasure trove go! Cannons! Can I go on the cannon? Can I jump on... Ah, I gotcha! Okay, red feathers! What do red feathers do? Hello! Whee! I'm a red feather! Yup! I help Kazooie fly! When she knows how... Oh, okay. When Kazooie knows how to fly, the red feathers help. Okay. Well, I guess I probably need to fly to get over to that. No, I can just step, step up that and do that. And there's a painting here of that? Okay. <laughs> gotta be. Okay, wait. Grab the stuffs. Cause you're ever in surprise. Cause every bear that ever there was something, something, something. Because today's the day the teddy bears are having a picnic. And it falls apart a little bit, but it fucking feels fucking close. Nah, I can't. Anyway, this is Treasure Trove Co. Wait, check behind it. Damn it, damn it. I really felt it. Long of tooth and short of arm. Grunty's got the lasting charm. She just shit talks us as we're walking around. I kind of dig that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, maybe the next one will take longer. I don't know. Also, I just got shit to do today, and I don't need three episodes right now to. Oh, Kazooie! So yeah, I'm digging this game so far. I'm enjoying it, I'm appreciating how many fucking moves we've got. The world so far seems simple. Like the first world did not have much there. Everything was kind of just there and we got it all quickly. So why I'm thinking maybe that was just tutorial you know how a world works. And the next one's gonna be more complicated. But I don't know, we'll find out on the next episode. So until then, this is version two, signing out.